this story, it is not going away. And the mere fact that it's not going away, it's not dying down, is simply indicating that it is one of the most diabolical acts that the internet and the world in general have witnessed. And we're talking about what Kim and her family did to Ye. Let's talk about it. Because most recently, Jason Lee was on a podcast and I did not see the entire podcast. I just saw this short clip that was posted on, I think it's Kanye's defense team, one of his fan page. And it was Jason Lee talking about how Kim teamed up with Ye, sorry, teamed up with Pete to make Ye unstable, to ruin him and Chris Jenner and Kim also adding the media in that to basically ruin Ye mentally so that she could get full custody of the kids. Now, Jason Lee oftentimes can be a hot mess, but there's one thing I've always said about that guy and that he's really good at what he does. He's really talented and if he should forget about being messy most of the times, he would be one of the best, what you would call it, um, say journalist, or um, he would have one of the best, you know, blogs, blog pages and media outlets because he's very much analytical. And uh, I mean, what Jason Lee has said in that podcast, it's not new to us. We've always known this. But you know, when someone who you know has connections to people and knows what's going on, when you hear someone with connection saying something openly and as honestly as this, it makes you realize and it makes you go back to the library of lies that the media has been spewing on Ye, Ye and Bianca, and how they have been triggering this man consistently. And you just automatically know Kim and Chris has always been behind it. I'm going to play that clip for you guys of Jason Lee describing what Kim and Chris did to Ye using Pete Davidson. And then I'll get back with the rest of my commentary. This man, one day I was on the phone with Kanye, Pete Davidson had text him a text of him laying in the in Car Kim Kardashian's bed and said, I'm in bed with your wife. Where you don't know where your kids are. You, who's watching the kids? You can't, the, the security stopping you from going in the house to see your kids, a house that you built. Yes, you would lose it. But Kris Jenner so masterful, she'll make the world hate you in the midst of you losing it for that you should be losing it for. So now let me ask you this as a black man. How many kids you got? Eight. Say, for instance, you and your baby moms, your wife, you're getting a divorce. All your kids is in the house with her uh -huh. while you're trying to figure it out. She going to find her some white boy. I'll just say white because this was this situation. Pete Davidson, remember? And Pete Davidson and his sick ass riding around your neighborhood with your kids sitting on his lap, tattooing their names on his neck and, and gaslighting you as a black man. Then your baby mom, she using the press because she know if you lose it, when you go to court for them kids, she gonna be able to show how crazy you are. Any black man, any man going through that is going to lose it. And that's what was happening to Kanye at the time that I was working with him. Now, make no mistakes. We've always known this. It was so evident. It was so black and white. Because you see, Kim and her mom, they're not realizing that you know, sometimes you might be able to play your little games, your little tricks, and you may get away with them for that period. But someone is always catching up. So um, their little pair games and their mind games and their stunts, it is really not serving them anymore as it relates to tricking people. And, uh, you know, to hear Jason Lee say this, along with some other stuff that he has said where he has been right, it is solidifying and really demonstrating how heartless 
and extremely cold Kim and her mom is. Now, am I saying that Gay has never done anything? Because sometimes when we're talking about these things, like people get things so twisted and so misconstrued, they're not focused on what you're saying. They will switch to like, but Kim has never said anything about Yay. And they'll say, but you're acting as though Ye has never done anything, right? So that's not what we're talking about. So just to get it clear, we're talking about this particular topic of how Kim used Pete to make Ye unstable so that she can prove that she's a better parent when she goes to court to get full custody. And as um Jason Lee says, just imagine building a home and the home that you built is security is telling you that you cannot go there, right? And Kim is obsessed with that man's house. She's obsessed with that man's house. She's obsessed with that man. She's obsessed with everything that man touches, every woman he dates, and she's obsessed with his current wife. So that in itself shows you that Kim is really a diabolical spirit because how is it that you try to make your ex-husband or your soon-to-be ex-husband unstable so that he has no say in the kid's life, right? And then after that did not work, you, you went on podcast interview crying, calling the father of your kids a deadbeat. Like, when does it end? When does it end? And you didn't stop there. You then went on a crying marathon, uh, accusing this man of, you know, causing your psoriasis flare up and the endless, um, allegations. And then you use the media when he was living his best life in Italy. You use the media for everyone to look at that man as horrible. And you have no heart to say this is the father of your kids and whatever affects him affects the kids. She's really sick. And I'm happy that Jason Lee is talking about it and saying it loud because oftentimes when small platforms like myself talks about it, people are like, you're always defending Ye. Ye is never wrong for you. But what about the facts? How can you deny the facts? How can you turn a blind eye to the facts? You can't. You can't, especially when you know that you are a person who has feelings and you would like someone to stand up and speak out for you and speak out in support of you. Ye deserves a break because they're still not leaving him alone. They're still playing these mind games. And you know what? When that clip was shared on Insta, many people said, it's not the first Pete Davidson is doing that to a family. So you see, when Pete is over there struggling with his addiction and all of that, he was telling you to come get his meds. But he forgot that while he was pointing that point of finger at TA, that thumb was sticking back at him because like you're telling him to go get his meds. What about you too? So you see, after that, they basically tried to accuse Ye of making Pete unstable when Pete was practically born unstable. Do you see how, like, evil these people are? And this is how you know that some people are truly horrible. And if you see Kim here, there's also a Kim in many other people's lives. There's also a Pete Davidson in many other people's lives. And to you people who have a Kim or a Pete... I just pray that you get delivered from such evil because that's definitely evil. But guys, I'm going to cut this here because we all know the story, but it cannot be echoed enough. It cannot be said enough because these people need to be exposed. They have done far too much. And that's all I have to say about that. Let me know your thoughts while you're at it. Thumbs up, share if you care, stay safe and stay prayed up. See you guys later. Peace.